Hey guys, it's Liv, or Danny Phantom SG1, whatever you want to call me. Um, I decided to show you how to get rid of the dreaded X on Windows Movie Maker effects. I only know how to do this if you put it over an entire video, so just use it for like if you want motion blur over the whole thing, or a coloring or whatever. Um, I'm just going to show you with this MEP part that I finished yesterday. Um, here's what it looks like without any effects on it. And I'm just going to put some colorings and motion blur on it. So first you want to try it out with the X being visible. One's from pixeland.com. These kinds of effects, they are all going to be putting an X on your video. So like this, this is what happens. So it looks really cool because it's like motion blur. <clears throat> but you get an X all over your thing and that just doesn't look good. So that's why I never use these effects until the other day I figured out how to do it. Um, so you kind of play around, see what you want first. Always do that first. I put bright on it I think. It's just a coloring. So just to see what it will look like play around with it, get the ones that you want written down, and then the way you do this oh, is you first squash to full screen because most of your videos are going to be in widescreen so it's like that now. And then this really important effect that I don't even know where I got it so hopefully you guys can find it. <laughs> But it's called DPL CK Prep Blue UL and it puts your entire video in this upper right hand corner or upper left hand. Wow. I'm sorry. <laughs> and then you can put your X effects on here. And now the X is in the middle of the blue and it's only touching your video a little bit right in there. So what you want to do, if you can get it closer, I would do that now. So try to zoom focus upper left and fix it at A. And that's going to get your video bigger. For now, that's good enough. And then you publish this video as And it depends on whether you want really good quality or not. Um, I usually just do best quality for playback on my computer when it's something that I'm not uploading to YouTube. But this thing, it's going to get really pixely in the end if you don't do it in HD right now. So sometimes I do this in HD and then go back and publish it again in HD when it's finished the first time. Okay, we're going to import it back in. Make sure it worked. It should look like it did down here. And it does. Okay. Now you have like this weird pointy thing in the corner down here. But we can get rid of that. And well, I'll talk about that later. Okay, go to DPL effects and get, oh my gosh, this. Resize 4x3 to 16x9. This is going to undo your um, squash to full screen. Mm -hmm. 
So now it's pretty much the same size it was when you first made it, but there's still this little tiny bit of X and a little bit of blue on the top and bottom. So I go to resize crop 2%. And that should get rid of it completely. And now you have So you have all your motion blur and all of your X effects that you wanted. It's really complicated to get them on here, <clears throat> as you can see, and it's time consuming, but if you really want motion blur, this is the best way to get it, I think. Um, the only pr One of the only problems with this is that when it starts, it's going to fade in from blue, because for some reason that effect makes it blue. So I usually just put a fade in from black on here, well, since this is an MEP part, I want to mute the audio, put the audio in here via the original. And as you can see, uh, my MEP part actually stopped around here, and I let the clip go on for a while because I knew it was going to fade out to blue and I don't like it when it does that so I can shorten it and now it's not going to fade out to blue anymore but I don't exactly know how to fix it from fading in from blue you could probably add a little tiny clip in here that means nothing and you can shorten that but it just takes too long for me so I just fade it in from black and then you have less blue. It's, it's still going to fade in from blue, but it'll be less apparent, and it's going to fade out to blue. Unless you do like I did and make it longer than necessary and then shorten it, and then it won't fade out to blue. But that's how you put X effects on here. That wasn't the best explanation ever. I wasn't exactly thinking I was going to make this tutorial today, but my roommate left for a skiing trip and I was alone, so I thought it would be a good opportunity to show you guys how to do it. Um, if you have any questions, leave questions in the comments and I will do my best to help you. Um, it takes a lot of effects to do this and a lot of time, but it gets rid of the X and it kind of makes it a little pixely, as you can see in here. but. I think it's worth it sometimes. So that's it. Thanks guys.